What's up, folks? Trippin' ain't easy. Back here again. Uh, we're back from our little trip from Richmond, and I decided to hit up a spot that I've been coming to since, I don't know, almost 20 years now. A uh, little place here called Genghis Khan Mongolian Barbecue, located on Military Highway in Norfolk. Now, it might be a little unseemly looking place, but I'm telling you, if you've never had Mongolian barbecue, it is next level, and it is one of my favorite things ever. So, I've been wanting to vlog this place for a while, just haven't gotten around to it. So today, we are gonna hit them up. Let's go. All right, so as you can see, we got the little uh, the little bar here, noodles, some vegetables, more vegetables. You can get any combination that you want. You can do the noodles, you can not do the noodles, do the vegetables, come on around here, different stuff. Uh, broccoli, little beans, sprouts, carrots, and then the meats, we have all the meats here. Pork, beef, chicken, chicken breast. At some point of the day, it changes. Uh, you get lamb, and you also get some uh, crab meat. So then we have the sauces here, a bunch of different ones, all kind of them. They suggest one scoop of each, which is pretty much what I do. And then they cook it on this gigantic grill right here, all in a nice little little round, little robin there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bowl, and show you how I do it. This is pretty much how I like to do it. Here. Grab some bean sprouts. Right, chill. And I come over to the meats. And I make sure I get all the meats. Go ahead and throw this down right quick. I like to grab all the meats. A little bit of each. All right, now we're gonna go to the sauces. I like it to mine a little bit spicier than others. and then you pass it off to the gentleman behind the grill. And then they cook it right there on that hot grill for you. And then once it's done, he's gonna flick it into the little bowl. Yeah. And it goes right to your table. You can see those noodles getting caramelized from the sauce. So delicious, there we go. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right, so back at the table here. A nice little steaming bowl. I'm gonna give you a plate so you can pull it on. Got your little plate here. They give you some bread. You can get rice and soup. I choose not to get the rice or the soup. So that way I can just enjoy this right here. Now again, you can get any combination you want. So if you're veg heavy, if you don't want this, you know, you don't want the noodles, you don't want the carbs, you don't have to get it. You can just get uh, vegetables, meat. If you don't want meat, you don't have to. Noodles, vegetables, or if you just want all vegetables. All vegetables and little combinations of sauces any one you want i normally get one of each because that's pretty much the standard and i do a little extra spicy as you saw there too so yeah this place uh i've been coming here forever almost seems like uh got introduced to it by my uh 
my brother-in-law. His family used to come here a lot. So we went here one day. So I was like, I want to go. Y'all always go. And yeah, pretty much all over the place. It's, it's amazing. Nice. They actually closed right before COVID. They closed for like renovating. They kind of did the floors, did new floors, uh, the decoration of the walls, some new paint tables and everything like that. So they closed right before COVID. So they already planned to close down, so they really didn't hit that hard. So then everything started opening up. And I was jonesing for my Mongolian. I uh, happened to be going to a little hardware store almost right across the street. And I was coming out of the parking lot and I happened to look over and see the open sign. It was like, is that real? Are they open? Are they actually open? And phew, took off. So we came here for the first time in a while. And yeah, it was as good as I remember. So the bread, a little sesame bread here. It's pretty good, like for dipping. Kind of dip it in there. I like to, uh, I like to grab some of the meat with it. It was so good. If you've never had Mongolian barbecue before, I recommend trying this. There's several different places around in the area. This one to me could be nostalgia, but this one here is the best one. Now it is all you can eat. Uh, we have a couple different prices. They have like, you got your lunch and your dinner. This would be considered a lunch. Dinner starts at three. That's when they throw the lamb and like the imitation crab up there. The price increases a little bit. So I'll let you know at the end. Of course I got a tea and I got this. I'll let you know at the end how much it all costs in case you want to come check it out. Also as you can see the meat was all, all fresh. So the meat comes, you know, basically frozen and then they slice it. So it's nice and red, you know, fresh meats. And it starts to thaw out a little bit as the day goes by. So pretty much stays fresh all day as it sits in there. Now, there are some Chinese buffets in the area <coughs> that try to, they have like a little bocce grill in the back. Uh, it's okay, but nothing can compare to the actual, you know, for real Mongolian barbecue. Now, the lunch crowd usually gets in here around 12, around about 12 to 1-ish, and it dies down Get close to 2. All right, so the lunch crowd's starting to pop in here now, starting to get a little busy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I'll meet you outside in the parking lot, let you know how much all this costs, and uh, basically where to find them. Of course, it's going to be linked down below. If you enjoyed this video, uh, like, subscribe, and share it. Leave a comment down below, favorite restaurant in your area. We'll, uh, we might make it there someday. Also, if you're enjoying the Richmond uh, videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let us know. We'll keep doing them. But, you know, other than that, we'll be right here. In the, I'm going to finish this and then be right in the parking lot. 2,000 years later. All right. So, just came out of there. We're getting a lot of, getting really busy. Uh, like I said, the lunch crowd was coming in there around 12 o'clock. So, all said and done, drink and buffet, $17.10. So, drink's like $2.95, and, you know, and it goes up uh, a couple bucks. For dinner so if you guys want to check them out i'm going to link whatever social media whatever i can find to them down below uh, i'm not sure if they have a traditional website but maybe a facebook uh, yelp anything so if you want to come check it out you know quick little lunch spot in and out grab what you want throw it on the grill in and out real quick so all right man i'm gonna it's gonna be uh, the end of this video here so as always tripping ain't easy but a show is fun